Has this month been a living hell for anybody else? Are my stars just not aligning? Seems like every March, I swear. Every single March is miserable. So with that being said, today I have decided to turn things around a little bit. I'm going to be making a mood board of sorts, just using magazines and different crafts, blah, blah, blah. Something I probably should have done in January to set intentions for the year and all that fun stuff. But sometimes it just takes being kicked down like this month has done for me to make me want to re-inspire myself and put myself on a positive path for the rest of the year with different goals and aspirations and things I want to do for fun, do for my career that I want to accomplish and really just kind of set my mind towards an optimistic path because it has not been on one these past few weeks. January and February were blissful. They were so amazing. They're so beautiful. I think that's why I've just been like, do 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 like skipping my way along this year just like oh nothing's gonna happen and then like a freight train just comes out of nowhere this month and um, it's been difficult. I just want to turn it around a little bit. Thought I'd have a little fun day today. I decided to do this last minute, so I'm gonna keep this short. Sorry, I'm in crackhead mode right now. Have a little fun today, go to a craft store, maybe hit a couple bookstores, some magazine stands, see what I can find. I'm really excited to make this manifestation slash mood board for the rest of the year. Got a lot of fun things coming up. I'm moving again. I'm going to festivals, concerts, trying to change my style and do all these things that I just have like so many ideas for that I just need to let or like brain dump onto the canvas. So that is what we are going to do today. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Bree. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking around. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Have a little fun crafty session with me. Let's uh, let's get on the road. Let's get, let's get this started because before we know it, the sun is going to set. That is how every day goes. I should be back. Stop talking, let's go. <laughs> Real quick before we go, a little appreciation for Miss Outfit. We are showing off the bummy legs. <laughs> Pale, bruised, but at least they're shaved. Also going to a concert tonight, so I don't even have to change. Like this, this totally works. And sweatshirt, don't come at me for it, okay? Taurus energy, my Taurus is we know how this Taurus and it's gonna be a good fucking day. And it's gonna be a good rest of March. And it's gonna be an even better fucking April. Manifesting today. We need to go. Let's go. Gone down those stairs like who the fuck wears heels to the craft store. Laziest people will be doing the most. And I know that because I'm lazy. And this is my excuse to not have to change my shoes again before tonight. <laughs> I didn't know my garage could slay like this. Holy shit. I'm So I just finished getting all the necessary craft supplies for the foundation of the manifestation board. I got the canvas, the glue. I only got one pack of stickers because I do primarily want this to be a magazine flipping type vibe. So we are going to now go to a bookstore and then after that probably a little magazine stand because there's a bunch of those just kind of sprinkled around LA randomly. So I've seen a couple here in Hollywood. I'm going to check one out and see what we can find. Let's go. Might I add, it is too hot for my sweatshirt right now. I have been waiting for this weather for so long. Feels like summer. Okay, I'm directionally challenged. The newsstand is closer, so we are gonna hit that first. Now let's go. Hiding the things I bought like a true Hollywoodian, Hollywoody, Hollywoodian? <laughs> like a true Hollywoodian. <laughs>
So I kind of went a little crazy with the magazine shopping today. It's like six o'clock now and I have plans tonight at seven. I have to go get dinner. I have to go feed my dog and do a bunch of things. So I will not be getting to crafting the manifestation board yet today, but just buying the magazine and doing all of that today was so much fun. Ending it off with some coffee and I think I'll probably do it either tomorrow morning or sometime tomorrow and we'll get crafty and make my board. I'm so excited. I don't know why that was so much fun. I'm like serotonin high just from magazine shopping. I will see you tomorrow when we get that shit done. We're gonna get that shit done eventually, but cheers to a great day. We are finally here making the mood board. I have been procrastinating like crazy and I don't really know why, but we are finally sitting down and crafting it up, making the mood board. Yeah, I'll probably just montage this shit and add, you know, like a good song onto the background while I'm crafting away. And I hope that you just enjoy watching my process of me making the mood board. I might include some tips and tricks here and there of different techniques I might be using with like layering the clippings and stuff like that. But other than that, I hope you just enjoy watching and let's get into making the mood board. To begin, I pretty much just went through all of my magazines and chaotically tore out all the pages that had different quotes and pictures that I knew I would want to use in my mood board. Partway through, I decided to write down some quotes that would inspire me during my process. This definitely was very time consuming, more time consuming than I thought it would be, but it's probably because I did not hesitate to take my time with each page, skimming over each page and making sure that I didn't miss anything that I thought would be a good piece on the mood board. Moving on to cutting out the pieces, I struggled with this in the sense that every piece had to be perfect, um, but it turned out to be totally worth it in the end. Definitely recommend keeping a little baggie by you during this process just to throw out all the small little clippings. Definitely try to keep the pages that still have large pieces left for future projects. legs are absolutely killing me right now but I think I got all the clippings done I think I have everything how I want so now I'm just gonna start gluing everything on I did find it somewhat difficult during this part to get the pieces of magazine to stick to the canvas so don't be shy with your glue and be patient with putting on the pieces you have to apply some pressure for at least a minute or two and when it comes to layering I definitely recommend using pieces that have a lot more space as the background and putting those first that way you can layer on quotes without them being interrupted by other pieces <laughs> Here she is in all of her glory. I am so happy with how this turned out, you guys. I also put it right above my desk so that I am a constant reminder of all of the beautiful things that there are to look forward to in the rest of the year. As the mood board says, 2023 will never be the same from here on out. It has been a really fun process doing this, kind of just brain dumping everything onto a canvas like I mentioned before. It sort of felt like a coping mechanism almost for all the stress that I was going through, kind of like reading or writing in a journal. Just putting your mind onto something that is visual it has been just a really great process and I hope that this maybe inspired you to make a mood slash manifestation board yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know so I can make some more in the future little craft with you videos. Let me know in the comments what you are looking forward to most in the remainder of 2023. There's a lot to look forward to, a lot to be excited about, and I would love to hear that from you guys. Like and subscribe as always, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.